Hi, I'm Lieutenant Mark Lane, uh, I'm U.S. Navy, I fly the A6E Intruder. This uh, particular Intruder is with VA-75, based out of uh, Naval Air Station o Oceana. Uh, the A6 Intruder is the premier all-weather attack bomber in the world. It's the only carrier-based uh, attack airplane uh, capable of uh, delivering uh, great quantities of ordnance in any, any kind of weather, and particularly at night is what we really like to go is at night. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary that the A6 has uh, been flying here in 1993. It's been around since 1963, and yes, it is still going strong. Uh, fought heavily in Desert Storm and has been dropping bombs in Iraq as recently as uh, this past June. I'm Air Force Captain Greg Sanders from Air Combat Command's 363rd Fighter Wing, and it's my pleasure to describe for you today's flight demonstration by the world's premier multi-role fighter, the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The pilot for today's demonstration is Captain Rob Heater Kesterson. Captain Kesterson will demonstrate the F-16's remarkable power by pulling up into a Cuban 8 after only a 1,200-foot takeoff roll. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left, Captain Rob Kesterson in the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Captain Rob Kesterson and the triple. I'm Captain Rob Kesterson from the F-16 East Demonstration Team. We fly out of the uh, 17th Fighter Squadron from Shaw Air Force Base in uh, South Carolina. We travel around uh, each year, do about 30 to 35 shows all over the country, uh, Canada and Puerto Rico. Our basic job is to go out and uh, show the F-16 off to the taxpayers and uh, show them what they're paying for. When we come through on the high-speed pass, basically we're demonstrating the airplane's uh, high speed, low altitude, dash capability, i.e. if you're trying to chase somebody down or somebody's chasing you, you light up the afterburner. And you can see just how short a period of time it takes the airplane to get up to a, a fast speed. And as a matter of fact, we end up having to cancel the burner or, or take the burner out because we'll be going supersonic by the end of the runway. So we try not to do that at air shows. As he passes show center, he will be traveling over 600 miles per hour. Watch now as Captain Kesterson shows you just how exceptional the 9G F-16 is in a high G turn. At show center, he will bank sharply into a tight turn, capable of pressing the pilot into his seat with a pressure of nine times his normal weight. In the full 360 degree turn, the F-16 has a turn radius of less than 1,400 feet. Probably one of the maneuvers that really translates to a combat kind of maneuver would be the high G turn. And what we're simulating there is just how quickly we can turn the airplane around. And obviously that's important if you have a uh, MiG or a Bandit behind you, you want to turn around as quick as you can and go face that guy head on. And our big advantage over most airplanes is that we can turn tighter than any other uh, of the airplanes. And that's an advantage in dogfighting. Captain Kesterson has lowered the landing gear to prepare for a slow speed pass. The F-16 has been a part of the United States Air Force for more than a decade. First joining the operational inventory in 1979, an aircraft that served with great distinction in the Middle East, flying over 16,000 combat sorties, more than any other aircraft type in the Gulf War. The F-16 is a dual role fighter, which means it's equally adept at shooting down enemy aircraft and attacking targets on the ground. Today's aircraft is configured for air-to-air -air combat 
and weighs in at 23,000 pounds. Any way it's configured, the F-16 is one of the world's most maneuverable, versatile, and lethal fighter aircraft.